So it turns out the uh, last video was somewhat poetic because I started talking about detours near my house then ended up taking a detour into the Great Marsh to find an item which then I thought about it is only in Diamond and Pearl uh, <laughs> not in Platinum so we got to look at the Great Marsh have some fun, catch some Pokemon get an app we'll never ever use ever again but the item that I was looking for is an item that we already have because this is Pokemon Platinum. That's what happens when you play Pearl, then Platinum, then the remake, and you forget which bits they took out of which game. So, uh, yeah, we were looking for an item that didn't exist. <laughs> and if that's not a better summary of what happens on this channel, I don't know what is. Anyway... We've got Zippy. I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see how buff and tough they are. So we have to battle our... Well, kind of rival. Be more a rival, you suspect, if he was... You know, we were going for the champion of the 100 meter dash. But there we are. This is a terrible matchup. And realistically, we're just going to switch immediately. Go, Maple. Use your Intimidate to intimidate the Intimidator that intimidated me. This might just be me, but Staravia's headpiece. Have you ever had shower gel or shampoo that hooks onto your kind of rack that you have in your tub or shower? That's what its head reminds me of. It reminds me of a bottle of herbal essences. And if we could hit with Spark at some point today, guys, that would be awesome. This is fake Barry's technique in this battle. He will just spam and spam double team. We will hit eventually. And when we do, it will be a one shot. But we might be here for a while. Oh, there we go. What was that? Fourth time lucky? It's not foggy. <laughs> Despite the beautiful bluey purple hue of nighttime Pokemon playing. Uh, Grapes gets a level up and it was pretty much twos across the board. I'm all allow it. I don't get to see this color scheme very often. At least not while I'm recording videos anyway. It is gorgeous though. Modern day you'd want something a bit snazzy than this for sure. But at least they have a nice choice of colors. And even with a minus one attack, that is an easy, clean one shot. And a level up. Not oh, knock that. That's a pretty good level up too. The plus three to special attack, completely useless, but what are you going to do? We could stay in. Do we have a Pokemon that really wants to play with this? I mean, Cheese will. And you know what? We've not had a battle with Chimeco out since it evolved. So let, let's do it. Let's have a look at the back sprite. How are we feeling about it? I'll allow it. I like it. Leech seeding was pretty unfortunate. That's probably the lowest priority thing I wanted it to do. I'd rather have just taken a little bit of damage, but we, what are you going to do, right? I suspect this isn't going to be a one hit back, but we'll see. Might be close. Oh, it was. I was a crit. <laughs> that is why. Alrighty, so they only have one Pokemon left, and conveniently for me, Monferno is weak to Psychic. Yeah, I can tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. Uh, no, I just raised my Pokemon to not use Double Team over and over and over again, matey. Is this going to be a one-shot? It is four levels higher than me, yet somehow not an Infernape. Uh, not quite. I don't remember if he uses healing moves. I guess we'll find out. I, the answer is no. I, I can appreciate that. Uh, I don't appreciate that so much, though. Having said it, it means... I'm pretty sure Monferno gives attack EVs, so let, let's get Lucario in on that. I would like to think we outspeed, but we don't. 
You see what I mean, though, about these Pokemon being just fast enough to be dangerous? Because they are quick enough where you think, hey, I might actually outspeed. You don't, and then that happens. But as we have seen, this, the reason why we picked Infernape, well, Chimchar will become an Infernape. Our team is hilariously weak to Infernape. Weak to fire. Weak to fire. Weak to fire. Not weak to either, but will be outsped. Not weak to either, but will be outsped. Weak to fighting. When he actually bothers to evolve this monobrowed monster, it's going to be just death. And again, it does have a level advantage over us. Wow. But jeez Louise, we are... So we're sucking. And this is just our rival, and he's not a particularly good rival either by rival in Pokemon game standards. What just happened? You're telling me I lost? Uh, only just. Maybe you did get a bit tougher since last time. That even shot me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. Oh yeah, I joined Mr. Wake as an apprentice. Like, I want my own theme song. No, no, no. No, no, no. And technically he does. He does have his own theme song, if you think about it. He has his own battle theme. Uh, we need to heal because our Pokemon did what they usually do against the rival. That is, performed embarrassingly badly. Something tells me if we'd had those 10 base stat increases in the two defenses and health, uh, Chameco might have actually taken that hit because it was pretty close. But we don't have those right now, so there's no point living on if, maybes, and dreams. Scramble. We're going to try and level you up. I'm sorry to everybody watching. It's a scramble struggle, which is like scrubble six squ uh, struggle. Uh, struggle six squared. Apparently, also talking like a human is going to be a struggle. The gym lead awake. Uh, I mean, crash awake is a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you've got guts if you try to face down water types of fire or ground type Pokemon. For that part, I'll leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. Well, I have neither of them because I can't. So, you know how it goes. This gym puzzle. It's a maze, but with water. Quite pretty water, but water nonetheless. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. I guess climbing all those stairs in and out of all the pools constantly would be a pretty good aerobic exercise. Uh, Tuba Jackie with his bee barrel. He might... This might hurt. I don't know... Beaverl's got reasonable attack. I wonder if it would have been better using counter. Oh. Oh boy. Well, it will be next turn. Oh my word. <laughs> well, the one flip side is that I definitely knew he was using rollout this turn. Oh, please. That's a crit. What the heck? Like, is this game just allergic to Scramble doing well? We'll definitely take it out with counter, given we took, what, about 130 damage in one hit? But, yikes. Wow, Trainer, you just might be tougher than our gym leader. Uh, I don't think that would be the prime sample to prove that. <laughs> maybe I'll do just, maybe I'll do Light Wake. I mean, Crash Awake and wear the same kind of mask. I don't like thinking about masks, given the timeline that we live in. We've, we've worn them for a very, very long time, and I don't enjoy wearing them. Makes me feel like my face is being attacked. My face is at liberty to have oxygen. I know, masks don't cut oxygen. It just feels that way. <laughs> I wield the stupendous power of water. Don't think you can win. Uh, we all have the stupendous power of water. It's just mostly made of other materials. And this is not a Pokemon that we can deal with a scramble. Whiskash, a water ground type. Gonna take no damage at all from Shockwave. So we're just going to bravely run away. Gonna bravely default our position. Please don't confuse me. Thank you. How many Pokemon do they have? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to use Pedal Dance either way. 
this is four times weak to grass, so if we don't kill this, we are doomed when Wake crashes up. Thank goodness. And we'll heal back a lot of our health, thanks to the Shell Bell. Actually, we got all of our health back due to the Shell Bell. Gamble. Oh, more zeros in defense. Thanks, Walter. But the kidney wins anyway. I'm just bowled over. But you already sat down. The time has arrived. Chancey does not evolve via happiness at a certain time of day. Thank goodness. This is our final evolution. Pretty early on in the game. Our Chansey has grown some very bizarre hair and has evolved into a Blissey. Let's take a look, shall we? So you, you, may, you may have noticed that all the things that I mentioned before about Chansey are still true now. It has ludicrous health, a very high special defense. Its special attack now is at least usable. It's still not got a great special attack, but at least it can do something. But it is still incredibly slow and still has an absolutely pathetic defense stat. We're still way below one times level. I mean, it could be worse. It could be its attack of 11, but jeez, 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 jeez. Anyway, we finally got it to evolve. The water rising and falling is tricky, but don't let it annoy you. If you lose sight of yourself, that's when you're set to you lose. You should write that on a poster or one of those weird Facebook posts that... I don't know, from my own experience, it just seems like young mothers post on Facebook all the time. I, I, I don't know what that's all about, but that's just what they seem to do. Anyway, let's go battle somebody that is definitely not a young mother. I've been around the world, going from place to place, training Pokemon. Is this gym I've chosen to make my home? You can bet it's tough. I don't know, maybe, maybe he is a mother. I guess we shouldn't be dictating. Uh, Sailor Damien with his Wingull. Well, that's convenient, because that's four times weak to electric. I feel like Blissey's quite a tall Pokemon. Its back sprite should be kind of more like this, more upright. Uh, but no, we just get to see the corner of its head, and it's leaning like a dog, looking inquisitively a bit like this. Oh, quick connect while I'm at it. <laughs> this isn't an AMSR video, is it? You'll have to let me know in the comments. Does anybody actually listen to those? I don't see the appeal. The thought of listening to somebody eat food sends shivers down my spine. That sounds horrendous. Like, I don't see the appeal at all. Thank goodness that was a one-shot. This is why I wanted to get Scramble to level up in this gym, because this is one of the very few gyms where I think we genuinely can use Scramble, and Scramble will not... Well, she'll still kind of stink, let's be honest, but not to quite the same degree. Oh, we already battled you. Go away. We have to talk to your sister or friend, at least. I want to become a strong trainer like Crash Awake. That is the most generic thing I've heard anybody talk about in a gym. It's Tuba Caitlin. It's female Tuba, which means they have to look like they're dying under their uh, tube. And excuse me, miss, uh, this is cheating. This is not a water type. It may look like a water type, and it may quack like a water type, but I think you'll find that Azuril is only normal type until it evolves. Even it has the death stare, though. Like, just look at it. I hope that future me remembers to make a thumbnail using its scary dead eyes. Because they're terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's just like I've seen things I've never wanted to see I am now hollow inside 
Oh dear, dear. Is the thing that Azumarill still has the same like color scheme on its eyes, but it just it doesn't seem quite as dead on the inside as the other two. Unless maybe it's you know in that pose like I'm actually dead. Give me a hug. You'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, what will not be fine is our damage output. Uh, that was our super effective shockwave. He did what? A quarter? Oh, we're switching out. Grapes, please save our embarrassment. Azumarill has good defensive stats, don't get me wrong, but that that's pain. I'm not convinced we'll even one-shot with grapes here, but we should easily do it within two. Let's see how much we do. Pretty animation is all petal dance. You don't see it a lot, so enjoy it. Oh yeah, we said easy two shot. I would have been even if it had full health. That's gonna hurt though. Ah, actually not that much. Maybe it has thick fat as its ability. Thick fat, so depressing. Good ability on certain Pokemon. Mill tank with thick fat, pretty good. Snorlax with thick fat, yeah, really good. Azumarill does not want thick fat. Thick fat halves the damage you take from fire and ice type moves. It already resists both. Uh, this is a fairly typical level up as well for a Blissey. So it has even more health on a level up now. We have a defense point, thank goodness. Uh, but that plus two to special attack, that is going to be very good for us in game. Because we're, we're not going to be doing huge stacks of damage. So any any points we can get there is good. Yeah, I think Meryl of the family has the scariest death look. I think it's in conjunction with his eyes. It, it looks like it should be kind of dribbling out the side, like the lights are on, but nobody's home. Ooh, zombie Meryl. Yeah, I'm going to be mad if future me doesn't make that a thumbnail. We'll see what we do. <laughs> grown, you're too much. I still think she's grown on the way of that. I don't know, maybe that tube's made out of steel. Who knows? Maybe I'll do like Wake. I mean, Crash Awake and use the same kinds of Pokemon. I almost said, but you kind of do, but it's not technically true, is it? Given that normal type of zoo reel. Touche, Pokemon people. Touche. It still doesn't make sense, though. Like, why isn't it water type? Did they just forget? I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. Are they all Magikarp? No, he's not that guy. We already battled that guy, remember? He's next to Eterna City. Pay attention. Can we two shot the Goldeen? What do you think? No. <laughs> no, we cannot. Not a fan of this Pokemon. Anybody a fan of Goldeen? I can see why people might be a fan of Seeking. He's just a happy boy. Not a good boy, necessarily, but just happy. But Goldeen just seems kind of miserable, and it's got the big fat Jinx-style lips. Ugh. No, thank you. Nope. Uh, we'll stay in here. Gyarados does give attack EVs, which is unfortunate for us, but I didn't want to switch into that. Uh, I didn't want to switch into a Thrash, and I wasn't 100% sure it would. I should have used Counter in retrospect. Uh, in hindsight, that would have been the move. I don't think this is going to be a one-shot. Oh my word, it barely would have been a two. Okay. So that's not great, so I guess we'll, we will bring our Luxray in. It's going to be close for which is, cl which is fastest, though. These are two Pokemon with very, very high attack stats, but with very mediocre speed. We're almost the same level. That didn't do very much damage. Oh, and we're quicker, too. Fantastic. Don't have to worry about any of that. We're breezing through this gym like a knife through... I don't know, chlorinated swimming pool water, I guess. Would be better than butter in this case. Not quite a level up, though, but this should be. And again, Sea King gives attack EVs as well, so this is really the perfect statistical fit for us. But yeah, he's he's still got lips, but they don't seem quite as creepy on a Sea King, I guess. I don't know why. Maybe it's one of those accidentally sexist things, who knows. 
but it just seems to fit better. Level 33, pretty good level up again, can't complain. And that's Fisherman Eric done. Being and born in the world doesn't mean a thing. I figure I got too wrapped up in fishing and neglected training. I, I think you would have neglected both to have a Goldene and a Sea King, let's be honest, but what are you going to do? This button's a trap. <laughs> that was not the button we wanted. Alright, so let's go hiding down here and wrap around. And we want to go all the way up to the big top up here. Beautiful. Like the raging sea, I crash down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. That's just what he do. Anyway, what's the name of the guy who does? Sailor Samson. This is going to be pretty obscure, but does anybody remember Samson from Langrisser 2? One of the weightlifting weirdos. 10 brownie internet points, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> if you don't, you should try and look it up, because that is a... Uh... That is a weird... Well, it's a fun game. An oldie. Actually, it had a remake that was on the Switch, if memory serves. Not quite the same, but it, it, it is a good time sink, anyway. Not a perfect game by any stretch, but yeah, it has a level in the original where you can kind of... In one of the main levels, you can hide off to the side. You unlock a secret level in... I think it's the temple where you... I meant to get the dark rod I want to say but anyway in that game yeah you can go off on a side mission and they play it interestingly so the, the protagonist is like why are we here what's the point of this mission this doesn't seem to fit the bill because it's it's not a super serious game by any stretch I mean how can it be with the art style back on consoles 30 years ago um but that it's like, why are we here? Clearly what we're looking for is not here. And your main character's like, uh, they could be, you know. <laughs> it's very strange. Anyway, level up for Scramble. You'll have to look into it. I'll give you, <laughs> it's not, not like I'm going to be a YouTuber that gives you homework when you listen to a video of mine. But uh, no, you should certainly take a look for it. If you've got a few minutes to burn and you don't know what to watch, um, try and find that content. I haven't played it and uploaded it on youtube or anything but uh yeah you can try and find a guy called samson in languissa 2 if you ever end up looking for it let me know what a weird weird stage anyway speaking of weird stages uh, this has gone weirdly well so far we have continued to slice through this gym that wave didn't even wash my hands they gave out another 992 Poké Dollars. I'm pretty sure the last trainer did too. Uh, I'm now become like a waveless sea. Push the button, not your luck. There we go. We don't have to talk to you again, but... He has the words to live by, so I wanted to say it again. And we're already here. Let's heal up. I did not mean to use Moo Moo Milk on Scramble, because that would not be a full heal effectively. That's the other downside of having a Pokemon like a Blissey in game. Uh, healing items that don't just heal all of your health are just a waste of time. Anyway, we're okay. I am going to save just in case. Yikes, your time gets inflated pretty bad when you're recording. I have not played for nearly 19 hours, thank goodness. Um, but we have played for quite a long time. I'm having fun, though. I hope you guys are having fun. Oh, my lord. I forgot how long the save screens are back in this game. All right, and let's battle away and see if we just get wrecked or if we can do it first time. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. Didn't you just get challenged by our rival? Anyway, the glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white waters. I'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. 
Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. I'm wondering if his mask is maybe just on too tight. Although, looking at that, it doesn't really look like he's got a mask on. It really looks more like he's put a G-string on over his face. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, Gyarados with Intimidate. That's why we have this out first. I'm hoping we don't get flinched. Waterfall is... I want to say 20% base flinch chance. Something like that. Anyway, this is going to hurt. That hurt. That's, this is going to hurt more. And by doing that, Scramble has done everything that I would want her to do in this battle. I'm going to level up out of it for good measure. Yeah, not a bad level up. Wants to learn defense curl. I mean, that is a way of getting its defense to not suck, but you better believe we are not learning that. We are not going to learn defense curl. No, thank you. So, Floatzel is going to take us out. There's absolutely no way that it isn't, so we're just going to stay in and get wrecked. Float His Floatzel is level 37, just for context. It's pretty scary. We're definitely going to intimidate it, though. That is absolute top priority. Floatzel is a very fast Pokemon with a very high attack stat and an actually not bad special attack stat either. Our hope is that we paralyze it. Because this is going to be... Actually, it wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. It did use Brine, and I'm not really sure why. Spoiler alert, that's what we get for beating this person. Oh, wow, we got a crit. <laughs> I guess you don't need to paralyze it if you take it out in one hit. That was pretty lucky. Uh, his final Pokemon is Quagsire. Hey, that there. That was a good move. That was a lucky move, I think you'll find. Is it just me too? Or is the Wooper and Quagsire sprite way over blue in this game? Maybe it's just me. Anyway, Maple can't do anything to this. So you think, hey, we're going to bring out grapes, but we're not. We're going to bring out cheese. Why, you might ask? Uh, cheese does one better than resisting ground. It is flat out immune to it. And yes, we can't do as much damage offensively. But defensively, we got you covered. Having said that, we are going to switch out and let grapes take the hit the chance at wiping this quagsire out hopefully it doesn't wake up the first turn it can wake up oh of course it did <laughs> but that's the best thing it could have done okay that's fine if we don't take this out in one hit with a four times tight matchup we're doing something real wrong even with a bad pokemon like this there we go so cheese just gets some experience for being a friend thank you for being a friend i guess then we split that experience three ways, but what are you going to do? Hunwa! It's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. I wanted the battle a lot more. Quite a lot of Dosh Wonga. It seems the undertow pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You've earned this. We get the fan. <laughs> Not the fan badge. The fen badge. You need that fen badge to use the hidden move surf outside of battle. And this is a special reward. Yeah, I'm 55. It is brine. Does double damage if your Pokemon that you're attacking has less than half its health left. Not going to be something we're interested. But thanks for the TM, buddy. Thank you. You tried. Who would have thought this team is really starting to... I'm not going to ask a lie. I was about to say this team is really starting to come together. I think it says more about how bad Wake's team is rather than how good our team is. Remember, he only has three Pokemon there. One is four times weak to electric, one is four times weak to grass, and the other one has just really poor defenses. Not a very good combination. The next person we have to battle, or the next gym in general we have to attend, uh, we're going to need to use Surf. We don't have anything that can use Surf, so... You will temporarily see a bee barrel or some equivalent Pokemon in our party. We'll deal with that by next episode. <laughs> what I tell you, uh, Mr. Wake, I mean, uh, the master is pretty awesome, hey? Wasn't very really, was he? But what are you going to do? Uh, 
What's this racket then? Oh, it's you two. You can feel the disappointment in his tone. Oh, master. <laughs> Listen, kid. I know your father. I am your father. No, no, he's not. <laughs> I won't deny that. But I don't recall ever taking you on as an apprentice. Not in the least. <laughs> Besides, you two don't need me. You can become strong on your own without being my apprentice. It doesn't matter. I made you my master. I decided. But forget that. There's trouble brewing. There's a Team Galactic goon in front of the observatory gate. Yes, I know. We noticed, what, an episode and change ago? Nobody listens to us. Like, to be fair, we didn't tell anybody. Are we the true bad guy? He said something about using a bomb. <laughs> what? No one messes with Pastoria. Not on my watch. Hey, Master, wait! We're going to deal with that another day, I think. Um, we're getting to about half an hour. I have got to get these ready to render so I can go to bed. It's 11 o'clock. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. We're really getting places, maybe. I know Wake's team was terrible. Our team is still pretty bad. But it was good enough to beat a guy that had two four times weaknesses. So at least that's something. Don't let the zombie Meryl ruin your dreams and have nightmares instead. Ah oh dear. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more, feel free to stick around.